hello and welcome to my channel today I'm gonna share my experience with you guys uh, if you're looking for the best rotors money can buy this these are the best rotors best you know there isn't anything better out there you're not gonna find anything better than this company by the way this video is not sponsored I don't want to see any comments saying I'm giving uh, you know advertising for their companies I share my experience if I find something good I'll share my channel either something really bad either way that's you know what I mean that's what I do uh, I want to sh show you guys something this is a one year uh, later not sure if the camera can do the justice if you can see the machining lines how, when the rotors were machined see those lines some are more visible than others see if I can zoom in right there see those lines the edge is already starting to show some wear so so these are I guess if you want to call it performance rotors maybe not but why they're their best well first thing I try to overheat them so they can you know so when you break their pulsating I wasn't able to so it's a one year about 9,000 miles on these rotors even the machine machining of the lines is still visible on these rotors if you look at the regular rotors you're not gonna see let me show you here's a good example you cannot see the machining lines on these rotors let's see if we can zoom in completely different story even though these rotors are older different brand a very popular brand actually these rotors will be separate review on these rotors so as you can see a difference so what makes this rotor special what's so special about them well look at the cutout for the cooling the design that's one thing second thing the most important is metallurgy the, the composition of the metal the rotor is made of when I research online this company uh, I cannot say that every rotor they sell has this composition of metals that makes them unique uh, I can say that this specific one is has a different composition and when you compare to other brands even OEM these rotors has completely different uh, chemistry or uh, metal composition versus even factory and with the factory my problem was I was getting year and a half to two years max basically every about 10,000 miles I had to replace rotors because they would overheat believe it or not car has or this SUV has about 78,000 miles and the last 25 and in the last 35, 38 miles 38 yeah in the last 38,000 I have replaced this is a third set of rotors yes because they would overheat and I actually tried overheating those rotors on the same routes as I always travel in, in you know specifically tried to overheat and I could not do it and on my just recent trip that I just came back uh, about 2,000 miles but 2,000 miles round trip that I just came back uh, I tested out in the traffic you know 100 degrees outside stop and go absolutely no problems no pulsating nothing and this is by the way is a three ton SUV 6,000 pounds SUV so if you're thinking upgrading or having a better uh, rotors this is your option this is your probably the only option uh, if you're looking for performance and if you're looking for longevity without replacing them every year this is the way to go one thing the one I mentioned about these rotors uh, when you go high speed 70 and above usually most of the time it's about 70 there is some humming noise coming from the rotors you know if you have good years and you pick up every little crack every little uh, noise from coming from whatever from whatever from anything then you're gonna pick up the noise from these rotors does it bother me it does not bother me it's let's you you can hear sometimes how many of them if it's quiet you by yourself no music nothing kind of concentrating on something then yeah you can hear this 
humming noise. Otherwise, if you're talking or something, or you know, there's music playing, you cannot hear that humming noise. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, the brand of these rollers are EBC. I'll post a link to specific model. These are. Uh, you can go on their website, you can research if all of their rotors have this specific feature or this specific ones, not a feature, but a, com a chemical composition of the metals. What brake pads am I using? See, you can see, you know, it's the, the, the machining still there, the lines from the machining, even though the edge from the brake pad is already showing some wear on the rotor, but the pads that I'm using, these are the pads that I'm using. I have used these pads in the past and I forgot until I purchased them. And then I realized these are pads, they work they work excellent when brake pads are hot. When they're cold, they're terrible. So let's stop it. So I should have went with the EBC brake pads, but I don't know why I went with this. I guess I tried. I decided to try something different. Different, and these pads, you know, work excellent when it's hot. When it's cold, you, you're gonna have problems with breaking. That's why you know, I take time. If I know they're they're cold, I need to warm them up before I can start breaking it. You know what I mean? If I have to, because otherwise, on cold, just pulling out from the garage. You know what I mean? You gotta push the brake really hard. Otherwise, he doesn't want to stop. So the brake pad, as you can see, there's still a lot. They're pretty much brand new. Just uh, I removed to check and to loop some of the contact points. You can see the fresh grease to prevent them from sticking, which is uh, typical on four caliper or or four piston brake calipers. It's a normal thing for them to stick. You know what I mean? If you let it go more than a year uh, that's why you know I cleaned it apply some grease on the contact points and good to go so if I want to hear your story what's your experience have you had EBC brand before have you had the Hawks brake pads you know uh, by the way this is Toyota Tundra and they're known factory rollers are junk I haven't heard I haven't heard from anyone who had Tundra and replace the brakes that their rotors were not pulsating, were not overheated. From the brand new, this car has been using only OEM rotors in the front, and I already replaced. This is a third set with EBC. Yes, and I've been replacing using OEM only. Why OEM? Because I could buy OEM, have connections for uh, what is it 70 or 75 bucks a piece OEM rotors these rotors are not cheap is it worth every penny it's to me it's worth every penny there is no doubt no problem I don't have an issue with overheating and would I use them again absolutely in front for the rear factory or other aftermarket brands works fine but for the front on the heavy vehicles that's my only options going to be from now on would not consider anything else so Thank you for watching. There will be the links down below where you can actually check it out those products, the brake pads, the specific model of this uh, rotor. And if you have questions, comment in the section below. Comment your experience, you know what I mean? Maybe there are some other brands that you tried that works very well that you never had an issue with overheating and pulsating. Or maybe, you know, you tried some other brands that you did have a problem. So either way, just drop me a comment. I would appreciate and well, thank you for watching and if you're new don't forget to subscribe and have an awesome day